Hi, and welcome to I Azure You. I'm your host, Vinny. And today we will be going over creating a function app that uses a storage account with network access restrictions. Why don't we just jump right in? All right, here we are at the Azure portal. We're just going to go ahead and create a resource. We're going to select function app. We'll go ahead and select our resource group and give our function app a name. I'm going to select .NET. You can choose uh, whichever runtime you're going to be using. Um, I'm going to be doing it in region central US. Uh, under plan, something to note here is that functions premium otherwise known as Elastic Premium, and App Service Plans are the only two plans that support VNet integration. Uh, so this will not work with the consumption plan. I'm gonna go ahead and create a uh, Elastic Premium. Next under hosting, if you already have a storage account or you're gonna go ahead and create a new one, that's up to you. Under networking, we're just going to leave this off for now as we'll come back to that a little bit later. Then on monitoring, if you'd like to enable application insights, I highly recommend it. Um, for this demo, I'm just going to select no. And nothing under deployments or tags, so I'm just going to jump straight to review and create. I'll go ahead, look everything over and just hit create. All right, once it's all completely successful in deployment, we're just going to go ahead and click on Go to Resources. One thing I want to do is just validate that the function app is up and running. To do that, we just go to Overview and click on the URL here. And we should see the Your Functions app is up and running. All right, the next thing we're going to need is a VNet. So we're just going to go ahead and create that by clicking home, create a resource, virtual network. We'll just put this in the same uh, resource group and give it a name. Something to note uh, that the region needs to match up with the function app. So I'm going to put this in central US as well. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave everything um, default. We're just going to click all the way over to review and create. All right, once that's completed, we'll just go into the resource itself. And now we're going to need to create a subnet. Um, we don't have to. We could use the default, but I find it a little bit easier to just create one. So we'll just go ahead and create subnet and give it a name. We'll just call it a function app subnet. Uh, if you have any uh, NAT gateway, network security groups, or route tables, you can configure them here. Um, we will need to use a service endpoint, so we're just going to select that and do Microsoft.Storage. If you have any service endpoint policies, you could set them up here. Let's go ahead and hit Save. All right, the next thing we need to do is configure the function app to use the VNet subnet we just created. We'll just go ahead and hit home. We'll go to the function app. And we'll just go down to the networking. From here, we'll just click on the VNet integration. 
we can hit add vnet. Go ahead and select uh, the vnet and the subnet that we already created. All right. One thing we want to note is that route all is enabled. This will ensure that all outbound traffic from the app will go over the VNet and not over public access network. All right, we're just gonna add a app setting here. We're just gonna go to settings to the configuration blade. We'll just go ahead and select a new app setting. And the settings website underscore content over VNet and value is going to be one. Go ahead and just save that. All right. Whenever we make an app settings change, the function app does restart. We'll come back here, just validate that it is still up and running. All right, the next thing we need to do is configure the storage account. We'll just go back to home. We'll go into our resource group and we'll click into the storage account. And we can just go to networking. We're going to select enable from selected virtual networks and IPs. And we'll just go ahead and hit add existing virtual network. and the subnet that we created. We'll just hit add, and then we'll hit save. Now it may take a second for the changes to apply, so we'll just give it a sec. An easy way to test is if we, uh, from the portal here, just go to containers. And there we go. This request is not authorized to perform this operation. We'll just go back to the networking tab. Now we can just add our client IP address here. We'll just hit save. And give it a moment. Now if we go back to containers, and we click into it, we can see that we can actually get into and access everything. So now we'll go back to the home, go back to the function app, just validate that everything is working. We'll go ahead and click the URL. Yep. And that is it. It is pretty simple. Um, if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel, get notifications when a new video comes out.